everyone, it's Caitlin Cahill, The Geek You Need, and today I'm going to show you how to put a pattern on letters such as those trendy leopard print letters that you see on t-shirts. I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you can do this in any program that has clipping masks, such as Affinity and Procreate as well. So this first technique is a simple overlay using a clipping mask. So you need a text layer and another layer with the image that you want to overlay on top. So for this example, I'm going to make the word hippie with a tie-dye background. So first I need my text. So I'm going to select my text tool over here on the left, add my text to a layer, Now you need another layer with your image on there. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can copy and paste onto a new layer. I like to do the file place option and I usually use linked so that it doesn't add to my Photoshop file. When you add your image, make sure that it covers your text completely and you want the image on top of the text. And then in Photoshop, you want to right click on your layer and select the Create Clipping Mask. Now you can see it's only applied that image to where there are pixels on the layer below. So in this case, the text. So now you have a nice pattern on top of your text. Now let's do another way that uses a seamless pattern. So for example, an animal print that repeats over the letters. And this one's going to use the pattern feature in Photoshop, but you could also do this with a clipping mask. Let's pick a nice thick font. So now that I have my text layer, I want to add a repeating pattern. Now there's a couple different ways you can get a repeating pattern. There are a few included with Photoshop. You can also download seamless patterns from different websites. I'll put some links in the description for ones that I like to use. You can also create a pattern from a seamless drawing. You can create your own or you can, again, download them from some uh, websites that provide seamless patterns. So I've downloaded a tiger stripe pattern and it is a seamless one. So when it repeats, it will, you won't be able to tell it'll be seamless, but it's not in a pattern format right now. It's just an image and it's actually just black on top of a white background. So I'm going to turn off the background because I only want the stripe so I can change the colors underneath. And then I'm going to go to edit define pattern. And this will create a new option for me to have a repeating pattern. So now that I have my pattern ready to go, I'm going to right click on my layer and actually you can also double click to get to your layer style. And then I'm going to go down here to pattern overlay. Now you can see the default one is some leaves that come with Photoshop. If you click the little drop down arrow next to pattern, this is where you can find all the patterns that come with Photoshop or the ones that you've made yourself or added yourself. Now, if you've downloaded an actual pattern uh, file format, you can add it using this little gear wheel here, and then you can import patterns from a file. So if you've bought one somewhere else, that's how you would import it if you didn't make it in Photoshop yourself. I want to use these tiger stripes. So I'm going to click on that one. And now you can see it nicely made a repeat for me across all of the letters. I can change the size of the stripes. So if I want them a little bigger, or a little smaller, I can do that. Let's go nice and big for the tiger. Now I can also do a color overlay on top. So let's say, let's do an orange. Now because the color is on top of the pattern, I need to change the blend mode. You can try a couple different ones. Multiply works well when you just have black, um, but play around with the different effects with different patterns and see how it looks. 
Then I'm going to click OK. And now I have my tiger striped letters. But now let's do one step more and let's overlay some cursive text on top and add a nice little uh, stroke around that. So I'm going to add a new layer. Now some fonts have what, some extras with them. And so for example, this font has some extra characters that adds these nice little ligatures on the end, which add a nice text effect. I'm going to center that onto the text. Hold down Alt while I resize so it resizes from the center. Now to add a little space around the letters between the two layers, I'm going to right click on the T of the tiger layer, select the pixels, go to select, modify, expand. I like to expand 20 pixels. And then click on the mom layer and go to layer, layer mask, hide selection. So now if you zoom in, you can see that whatever color t-shirt is below will show through around this text. So it just adds a nice little border around it. So if I were to change the background, you can see the background will show through so you don't have to change the design for each color t-shirt that you want. And there you go. You have a nice pattern letter with a nice overlay and a negative stroke around the top layer. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you need to know to be successful on your KDP journey.